Hi, I'm Devin Dean, Content Director at ProjectManager.com. Today we're going to talk about what to do when your project team isn't meeting their date or time targets. Now, before I became a project manager, I was in the Marine Corps and I had an expert pistol and rifle badge. Today, as a project manager, anytime my project team isn't meeting their dates, I take them out and shoot them. No, seriously, there's a few more things that you can do which are a little bit more constructive. First off, at the start of your projects, make sure your project team takes ownership and accountability for the tasks they have to deliver in the time frames that you're asking them to do it. If you show them a project schedule, they all nod their head, yes, I can do that, and they don't really take that accountability, take that emotional responsibility for the task, you can count nine times out of ten that you are going to be late in delivering your project and your team is not going to hit their time or date targets. Make sure at the start that they take ownership of the time and task estimates that you work through as a project team. Now when the project's underway, it's really important for you to have some techniques on how to detect the wheel spin. There's nothing unique about this. We do it in our daily project stand-up meetings or your weekly meetings. You do it in your fortnightly steering committee meetings. It's an opportunity for you to inspect as a project manager what's going on where the rubber meets the road. You've got to inspect, you've got to inspect, and you've got to inspect a little bit more. That's one sure way to make sure that your project team does not miss their time and date targets. So first off, at the start of the project, make sure they take ownership. Whilst a project is underway, know how you can detect the wheel spin, and that's in your regular project meetings. Once you do detect a wheel spin, though, I think it's important that you deal with that right away. And that's what the rest of this whiteboard session is going to talk about. It's going to talk about how do you deal with that situation once you're in it. First off, don't look away from it. If there's a problem with your project team member not meeting their expect expected time and date, you've got to give them feedback immediately. It's the right thing to do, it's the mor morally courageous thing to do, and it's the best thing to do for that project team member. You've got to go up to them, sit them in a room one-on-one, -on -one, isolated from the rest of the project team. And you ask that project team member, for example, John, today is the 5th of December. You had a project deliverable that was due on the 3rd of December. We're two days late. What's your take on that? Ask for them, invite them into the discussion, invite them to take accountability for missing that date. If that person doesn't take accountability, you know that you've got a real problem on your hands, something that's going to require a little bit more serious interaction. If they do take accountability and say, yes, Devin, I'm really sorry. I screwed that one up. It was my choice to work on this small little change request instead of getting the major baseline release due. It won't happen again. If that's the situation, if that's how that person handles it, then you know you've got a true winner on your team, and hopefully that'll be the only misdemeanor that they commit on the project. But you've got to give them that feedback immediately and make sure you do it one-on-one. -on -one. Get them to solve the problem. If you're pushing a solution onto that person, they may not take accountability for the way that it needs to be solved. Make sure that they come up to you with some ways of how to actually solve that problem and get the project back on track. Now, as a project manager, you're there to actually deliver a project. You're there in, you are there doing results management, not performance management. So when you've got a team member who's repeatedly not meeting their time or date targets, make sure you can escalate it. Escalate that issue to their manager. Don't accommodate it. Don't enable it. You don't want to have to deal with it. Your job is to get that project across the line on time, on budget, and to the quality and scope that's been required. So make sure if you've got team members who are repeatedly committing misdemeanors on missing their time and date targets, that you actually escalate it to their manager. So just to sum it up in ways to make sure that your project team meet their time and date targets, at the start of your project, make sure they take ownership in the tasks and the time frames that they have to deliver those tasks and deliverables to. Whilst the project is underway, make sure you as a project manager have ways to inspect it, inspect it, and inspect it again. Lastly, if it does occur, if they do have a misdemeanor and not meeting their time and date targets, make sure you address that immediately. With these tips, you should be able to keep a happy project team and not have to take anyone out the back and shoot them like I have in the past. For more whiteboard sessions and all your project manager needs, come see us at projectmanager.com.